Hello, hello. Oh, boy. Welcome to this segment of AKT. Celebrity Reads. I'm your host, Alexis K. Tyler. Oh, boy. This has been a rough one, hmm. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, everybody, for loving me and supporting me. I don't want to come back this soon because um, it's very difficult to uh, whew, difficult to talk about what I am going to talk about. And hi, Monica. Hi, baby. Hi, beautiful baby. Uh, I did, the last reading that I did was uh, the message from King Vaughn to his reader, Dala. Please tell me, I'm trying to get that baby's name right. It's, it's very, it's spelled very odd, very unique, and the pronunciation doesn't look like the spelling. So, I want to get it right. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to her. Hey, Gwen. And, uh, she received it well. And King Vaughn has been coming to me. We have a part two here. <laughs> With a message from King Vaughn uh, to his reader. And uh, some of this I, I will not, and I told her, I will not say um, in public. Some I will say in private. Hey, Nina. Some of it uh, is not pertaining directly to her, but he needs her help. So... That's another reason why, too. Um, yes, Sydney, you caught me. I, I, you know what? I can't sleep, and I've been holding this uh, for a little over a week now because I didn't want to believe this. This was true, and uh, I want to say too, I made a mistake on his physical death. I had looked on YouTube, and I look. I was trying to look it up the other night when I was trying to do the video. And I saw a posting for uh, November the 9th, 2020. We were talking about his death, but then somebody corrected me. And I'm so glad they corrected me because I'm not trying to be disrespectful. His passing, correct me right now if I'm wrong. Um, check it for me, please. Uh, was it November the 6th, 2020? When Vaughn was assassinated downtown Atlanta. Is it November the 6th? I think that's what I, I looked it up. I want to make sure it's correct. I don't want to mess it up again. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Anybody that feels like looking uh, for the date that King Vaughn was physically killed. Was that November the 6th, 2020? I want to make sure I got that right. Hi, let you, uh, um, I have, I, I actually, too, let me say, you know, I'm a psychic medium. These readings are what I see and hear. I talk to the physically dead yet undead people. Uh, people are very disrespectful to them. And they try to say they are uh, ghosts or something. There's, I don't deal with ghosts. Ghosts don't talk and have sense and have a consciousness and know their body and come in here and show me their hair, their face, their skin. Thank you, baby. Cindy, November the 6th, 2020. Thank you, Gwen. November the 6th, 2020, for King Vaughn's assassination, physical assassination. And he's been all over the place. Very strong. He hasn't gone anywhere in the neighborhood in this beach. Okay? And I was cooking for them. Um, Nipsey wanted candy yams. So I said, do you want, do you want, like some people, I mean, I haven't lit his sage in a minute. I'm saying, do you want, like some people will have the, you know, cook the sweet potatoes and make like a souffle, mash them up like a mashed potato and put um, mushrooms, uh, marshmallows, I never liked them like that, my grandmother never made them like that with marshmallows and shit on them. She just made them really uh, tender and moist and juicy and delicious and sweet and gooey and syrupy. And he said that's how he wanted them. I said, okay, so you want some southern style. Candy yams. So Nipsey said, yeah. And I said, you know, I had never made candy yams before. Today was the first day I made candy yams. And I had one of my friends on the phone. I'm like, you better help me get this right. Because Nipsey said he wanted the candy yams. And then Vaughn wanted some too. And my father wanted some. So they all, luckily, everybody in here, me and everybody in here like southern food. 
So I made the Southern food. Hi, baby. This is Nipsey Sage, the Nipsey Blue Sage with the 24K gold on top. So I'm lighting it for him. Well, I need all the help I can get in this bitch behind this bullshit that him, he's been with Vaughn. He looks at Vaughn like a little brother and Vaughn loves Nipsey. They've been hanging out since I hadn't seen the two of them in the past couple of days. And Nipsey came back in here today. He was very depressed. And I said, what's wrong? He said, I'm worn out. I'm drained. I'm tired. He said, this is too much on me to see. Well, you can buy the sage, Rich. You don't have to get it from me since I'm in the ATL. Uh, but this is Nipsey's blend. He created this. You see that fucking shit right there? This is his. He has 24K gold. This is real 24K gold paper on top. And it's treated with the oil blend. For like a peaceful home or removing negative energies and entities out of your house. So there are oils that are dipped in here and you see it wrapped in 24K gold thread. This is his. Do you see that or is that my imagination? <laughs> that's, that's his. I have a red one he made as a lover sage. See, that's red. And I have a 24K Dragon's Blood Sage. Isn't that pretty? I follow his instructions to make it. And when people order it, I have the spiritual kits he created. Everything he gave me the recipe to make in there, they're all not the same. So if I make a uh, blue sage for you, and I dip it in the blue, he might say, hey, that person needs this formula or that formula. So the formula sometimes change based on what he says. He'll jump into the person's business. And he'll say they need this, they need that. So I'll ask for permission. It's okay. Nipsey jumped in and said, you need this thing, you need that thing. Hey, the one. So that's what I do. Mmm. It smells so good. This one is sweet. The Lover's Age is also very sweet. Thank you, Monica. I know I, I wanted to send you some, but I know you're so far away. You're on the other side of the world. Hopefully one day or even from ATL, if you get somebody to get you some, they got to visit you or find a way to give you some where it doesn't cost so much to ship it. I couldn't sleep with this one. I was going to, I tried to let Oh, Arius, he's just jumping to me, Arius. Yes, when I do people's readings, he'll come and listen to the reading, and he'll say, this person needs this, and this person needs that. Make their stuff this way. Make their bath that way. Make their lovers all this way, because they're going with this. Make their uncrossing bath that way. And he will jump in and tell me what that person needs. So I'll make it based on what, because, you know, they can see more than we can now. But, um, again, these are spiritual readings. I use a tarot. I'm a psychic medium, so I don't always use the cards. They'll walk in and start talking to me. I transcribe their messages. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, of course, I have to say this is for entertainment purposes only. I've had these cards. I have some cards laying here, tarot. They've been laying here for about a week now. I just sometimes I'll lay cards out, and I don't pick them back up because I'm like, I don't. I'm like, I don't believe I just saw that. I, did I just see that? And I asked King Vaughn uh, to tell me some things. So I laid them there, and I was a little bit confused because I, I didn't think I was seeing what I was seeing. Um, I want to let people know, too, I got your emails. Uh, sometimes you might have to email me back. I'm not ignoring you. It's not that I don't want to read you, but I have so many people ahead and people get frustrated with me. I have people ask me now, are you going to do my reading? Are you going to do my reading? Did you forget me? You, I already paid you for the reading. I'm like, no, I didn't. But I have so many readings before you. I have the products. I haven't even packaged and I'm concerned. So I'm going to tell everybody they want to order something from me. I suggest if you want to order through the post office, you're going to give me have to give me at least an extra $5 to get extra insurance on it. Because it has a like a $50 uh, insurance that comes with every package, but that doesn't cover what I make. So if they find it or if they don't and I file a claim, I don't I don't get that back and I can't do that. So unless you're going to do FedEx or something, and you know, it's $5 to cover your investment. 
or I can't do it. It's very frustrating with the people and the COVID and the insurance. Just a lot of lazy people that's at the post office and they have to do stuff. I got a package back. I got to find out who it belongs to. Um, I have the lady's address on the package. The post office brought it back to my house, thank God at least. Said that the address doesn't exist. I know that can't be true, but luckily they brought it back to Atlanta. And instead of just having it out there in the middle of nowhere or throwing it in the trash can. Hi. How's my baby? Wisdom is she up or she's sleeping? <laughs> she's so grown. She's up. <laughs> telling you what to do, but giving you a, a, a curfew in a night night time. <laughs> so okay, so so now we got that out of the way. Um, to check back if I don't get back to you, send your picture of you and anybody you ask for, so I can see your eyes. I'll send me pictures with shades or anything. I need to see your eyeballs. Uh, if it's a person that's physically passed, send me the obituary. If you have any casket pics, I love casket pics. Send me those. I love them. If you have autopsy stuff you want to share, send the autopsy. I love that. That doesn't gross me out. The more things that I can see with the person alive and physically alive and the person with physically the dead body, the better for me, easier for me to get info about them alive in the body and then the body physically dead and them standing outside of the body. So... I, that's what I asked for in advance. So it won't be like, she, she keeps asking me for stuff. I asked one question, then she, I sent that, then she asked me to send something else. I'm telling you right now. That's what I like. The more information, the better. Okay. So that I can answer your question and I can see if the person wants to talk to me. That's why I don't say, okay, it's a guarantee I'm going to give you a reading. Because if you ask me to read you on someone, I don't know if the person might want to speak to me. They pick who they want to pick, talk to. So I don't take everybody's reading. If that person doesn't want to talk to me, I'm not going to do your reading. I just tell you some shit to get your money. I want to make sure they can talk. So that's why I say, don't send me the money first. Send me the picture. Send me your picture. The person's picture. Let me see the eyeballs. It give me the exact questions. Rich. Yes, I'm single, Rich. And uh, let me look at the person. And then you know, if the person has a physically dead body, send me that. And then give me the question I'll ask and I'll see if the person wants to step in. Because I have to sit and speak with them. If they do, then I'll get back with you and say, yes, I'll do it. I have 15 minutes, 30 minutes. I have one hour. Then I'll give you the rate. People will write out and say, I want to read and what's your rate. I'm not going to tell you what the rate is when you email me right off. Because I don't do everybody's reading just because you can pay. There are plenty of people who do that, but that not me. Plus... I'm so busy, I have to make the products. Then you see the spirits over here. I have to make their products. I have to cook for them. They give me their menu. <laughs> you think I make these menus? You think I pick these dishes? You think I did 24K China, 24K Blue Goblets and shit? Do you think I pick this stuff? I don't pick this stuff. This is even one of Nipsey's bottles for a uh, uh, beauty serum. He picks this stuff. This is what he likes. The spirits pick it. If you look at the pictures of the food and the videos of the food, you see they don't have paper plates, they don't have styrofoam plates. You think that's me? I have nothing to do with it. Yes, it's difficult, but it's what they ask me for, and I have so much love and respect for them, and they have love and respect for me. So I get it. So I can't read everybody that asks me to do a reading because I have so much going on, and then I have to make the products people order from scratch. My schedule is very full, and I'm very tired. I really kind of want to shut down right now and go on a break, where you won't see me and talk to me. So I'm kind of thinking about that right now. I really need a break. I'm very exhausted. Anyway, you'll know because you won't see me hear me. Well, you know what? I spoil them. I don't have to give them all the food. I just give them a little tablespoon because people are like, you give them full meals. You don't have to give them full meals. I was like, I know. You can give them a tablespoon of everything. That's what I was taught, told by a priest. Give them a tablespoon of everything. They'll be fine. I don't want to do that. Um, I give them the food the same. I treat them the same way I want to be treated. As if they're in a physical body. And they love they love the food. They love. So when they ask me to make something, I'm like, if somebody can get it for me, I'll make it for them. And I will say, because somebody asked me, I thought it was quite beautiful. Sometimes I do that. People ask me, and they ask me about Pop Smoke. Somebody said, if I give you a donation to put some food on for Pop Smoke, would you put food on the altar for Pop Smoke? And I said, yes. If you know what you want Pop Smoke to have, or if you know what he liked to eat, you know how much that cost. Send me donation to cover the cost. 
and I'll cook it for him. And I'll put it up there and you'll see that I did it. To see that I wasn't lying because, uh, you know, there's a couple people that have done that. They said, do this for uh, King Vaughn. King Vaughn wants to, the, he likes the white chocolate. So they give me something, I get the white chocolate. They did Nipsey, I want Nipsey like this. I want Nipsey to have that. I, I said, okay, I'll get that and I'll put it there. So, yes, I will do that. Uh, if you want me to put something on the altar for someone, you don't mind donating? I don't mind cooking it or getting to drink whatever they like, and I'll do the video and show you. This is for such and such who wanted this for this person up here. Okay. This is what's bothering me. Uh, Nipsey and Vaughn were together. And that's one reason why he said he needs his uh, reader, Dala, so much to be there to help him and do spiritual work for him. Uh, spiritual magic, oh, I'm getting chills all over, spiritual sexual magic as well for him. I know, Reese, uh, it, it's been on my face, this is whole thing. You see those up there? Can you see those? It's, they're, they're in here, and their food is, I don't know if you can see, their food is in the back. Their beautiful altars in the back. Um, he needs her to do a lot of magic, he said, to open the portal and to get him through the portal that they did demonic things to block him as to, to take his life and try to bind his soul and use him for money, fame, and fortune, make him a slave in the underworld on the other side to basically obliterate him and to take all of his, his wealth and his riches as well as trying to do it through sexual acts. Uh, it was something that bothered me today, too. I was looking through videos with King Von, and and uh, Lil Dirk came up. It was a video of them. I don't remember the name of it because I saw uh, on the news and people were saying that Lil Dirk and King Von were not supposed to be around each other because there's a court case and uh, said they didn't get to see each other. So they were on FaceTime on YouTube and they showed themselves on FaceTime. I think was it King Von and Dirk. Dirk had some. They had some money, holding the money, flashing it. And then Dirk said, "Look at this." And he had two chains. I don't know if those was was it OTO chains or OTO. Dirk had the chains and laid them out. It was two chains, the two logos, and he told. Vaughn to look at him like he had one for him. And when I looked at the, uh, oh, you see it, Chance? You see those? They're just doing their own thing over there. Yeah, this one's shooting up right here. Uh, that one right there, you see that shooting up like that? It's just like the second or third time I've seen this, and it wasn't that long, so I had to keep replaying it. Hey, Shannon, to look at this here. When I looked at uh, Dirk, they showed Dirk where he was sitting, like a, a screenshot of him and uh, what room he was in, and then a screenshot of where Vaughn was at. I didn't see it with Vaughn. I saw it in Dirk's house. A demon got up and started coming through the goddamn screen. I said, God damn it, not again. Not another one. Not again, God damn it. And started talking. And when the demon got up, because I said, oh, I'm going to shut this shit off. Because when I'm on the OTF, it was two chains. It's a short video on YouTube where Dirk is talking to Vaughn on FaceTime. I think Vaughn got a handful of money. And Dirk got the two chains and lay them down like on a bed or something. Said, look at this. Look at the chain. And the demon didn't get up when I saw Vaughn on FaceTime. The demon got up on Dirk when they were talking on FaceTime and started coming through the, want to climb through the goddamn um, video and start talking to me and let me know it was there. I said, oh, shit, not again. He showed me, I've seen that before, where they will get out of there and come and do the video and come into my house and start talking. And the demon around Dirk, okay, it's weird because it's male 
and it looks like a reptile, almost like a mermaid slash merman. The thing is gay, or I don't want to say gay. It go both ways, or it's a hermaphrodite, or it's a transsexual. It's a transgender. But the thing is, it's a natural transgender. It looks like a water spirit that Dirk got on him. Allegedly, this is what I've seen in the spirit. This, this merman spirit that Dirk got on him come through the video, look at me, and start talking to me while he was talking to Vaughn. And I said, oh, this is not good because I saw an innocence in Vaughn tonight when I looked at this video. This might have been from last year when I seen this video, not too long ago. A few months ago. And he, I'm getting cold and I got my heat up. I got my heat on 80 degrees and it's cold in here. The demon is male predominantly, but the demon got funny ways, like freakish ways. And the demon is very low down and dirty as hell. This demon is on Dirk and it follow Dirk around and the demon look like a mermaid or a merman where it's wet. The bottom from the waist down, the body look like a mermaid like. And it's got scales on it and it's body wet. You have to stay wet. It come in and out the ocean. But from the waist up, it could shift. Look like a male, but look like a cross between a male and a female. And it give him money, but it make him do dirty shit to get the money. Like he have to do human sacrifice. You go out. Thank you. You go out and it's certain men I'm attracted to. It's certain women I'm attracted to. He has a certain, I don't want to say this, but this thing told me that's on him that got up when he had them two chains. One for him and one for Vaughn. Like, uh, like he got a crush on him like that's his girlfriend but it's not his girlfriend, but he wanted to be his girlfriend. Like he wanted Vaughn to be his girlfriend. Like he was crushing on Vaughn. He had this obsession and this magnetic attraction to Vaughn. But he didn't come out and tell Vaughn. And I don't see Vaughn was gay. And I don't see, no, Vaughn was not gay for pay. Vaughn was not by say Vaughn never been with no man in his butt. And Vaughn never went in no man butt. And Vaughn never had no man suck his dick. And Vaughn never sucked no man dick. No. Dirk didn't come out and tell Vaughn. That's what I'm saying. He didn't tell him. But the spirit on him is a merman spirit. It's a water spirit. And the spirit, it started standing up beside his bed. And it was looking just like, kind of like a male. But then it started doing this. Like he had his hip was little. Like his waist was little, but his ass was fat. Man. Oh, Daphne, I don't know if you want to, you just got him. I don't know if your ass want to stay in this motherfucker, man, behind it. This shit, it stood up and it started doing this, showing me. Standing behind Dirk back, twisting. <laughs> twisting his ass, switching it round. And with his waist lil and his ass fat. Too much booty in his pants. Shaking his ass, but he wanna dance. Little in the middle, but he got much back. That's what this thing was showing me, man. Booty. Tootie fruity old Rudy. I'm looking at this thing switching behind his back. I said, you was telling me that this motherfucker ain't like this here. He said, but it's me. That's what I do. I said, oh, you on him. Like, yes, yes, yes. He said he, but see, the thing said he got some ass. Like he got a, the thing started showing me that it had an ass on it. But the thing looked at, like it changed colors. Like the skin was white on it. Look, I'm not finna rap, Okay. Started from the trap, but I rap. You know what I'm saying? I, look, 
I'm trying to keep a straight face with this bullshit. That's why Nipsey came here so depressed. He told me, man, look, I want, I need to just lay down. I said, why are you so down? And he said, you just don't know what this kind of shit I have seen. And I'm trying, and, but Vaughn is happy because Vaughn is over there with that girl with too much booty in her pants, see. Ass in her pants and need to dance. See, he all right now, see, because I done passed the message. <laughs> he happened, this was feeling down. He's like, man, you don't know the shit. We done find, and I said, okay. Uh, the thing was saying, I don't care about Dirk. I, I don't care about Vaughn. I don't care about anybody. I'm not a human. I just, they put me on them to give them wealth and fortune and I get what I want. I want souls. I, I, I will give them money in exchange for I want souls. I want human blood. I want sacrifices. So he said, I, yeah, but, yeah, buttermilk biscuit and bunt cake and shit. Booty like, thick like gumbo. Bounce, they got that bounce back to it. And he said, I want blood and I like Vaughn. He say, if I can get Vaughn in a compromising position, I could have somebody that I'm on to have sex with him. Straight, he said, then if I can flip it, a transsexual, a gay, I can suck his soul out of his body. He said, I, he, he liked to suck people's soul out of them through seduction and sex to where they just, their body be laying stiff and hard and cold. That's what he say. Once their body laying stiff and hard and cold, he don't want them no more. Because he done got the true essence and the most valuable thing out of them. More valuable than money. Their soul out of them. is to collect souls out of them. And he used that boy dirt to do it. Allegedly. That's what the spirit said to me. He said, he, then I look at him and you look in his eyes. You see, if you can spiritual, you'll see what I see. When I look in his eyes, it looked like a woman. And I seen a video on YouTube and it say, if y'all know anything, you need to stay away from Lil Dirt because he got a deaf spirit, got a curse on him because everybody hang around and come up dead. And I said, well, he ain't got no curse on him then. He's alive. Obviously, he's putting the curse on other people. He took an oath, their spirit on him to stay alive and get money and climb up. He had to sign folks over. And have them close to him in that gang and do them deals. And they don't know they're doing it. Sign them, get them under that, give them a deal. Pull them in to catch their soul. A soul eater. And then let them know. If you want to go higher up. Then you got to go deeper. That's when that spirit starts switching his ass around. Look like a, a, a half woman and a half man. Man, this shit making my stomach hurt, man. I mean, I, I hope I'm not. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit, man. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying, man. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. And I just wanted to go to sleep. I didn't want to repeat it, but I couldn't sleep. The shit vexed my spirit and tore me up so goddamn bad. Because what I have seen, I laid out in my car. I saw this deaf spirit here. And for some reason, I seen the higher effect. But beside it, so I'm like, okay. This, and then the Wheel of Fortune here, I seen this, and that bugged me. That bugged me. Because I said, you know, other people might see it a different way. I, everybody got their interpretation of things. This is somebody that was higher up, an older man. This was not Dirk. This was somebody that Dirk was under. And then uh, the King of Wands, which would also be, could be Vaughn, Fire. Fire, since he's a Leo, the Lion. He comes up as the King he came up and thought this was, was his deal of the lifetime and he was rising up and there was an other executive that is over Dirk that would also be over King Vaughn. And they plotted his death, making him think he was going to rise up when he really, as he rose up the ladder, what they asked this man to do was going to mean death. Let me tell you another thing. I couldn't fucking figure it out. I thought it was just me. I'm like, why? What the fuck is this here? 
Okay, so woman involved in this with another man that's very hot-headed, young, rush in that can be very violent, but that also like to rush in and do some fucking real quick. All up on somebody flirting hot and heavy, and then once he fuck him and get what he want, he gone by this business and you don't see him no more. Romantic, hot, heavy, wine, dine. Disappear. He had this woman tied up and bound her up. And she's having sleepless nights right now behind this. She can't really rest behind this and she cannot tell this situation. Or it could also be him coming to her. King Bond. Finding someone very attractive he rushing into and she trying to bind him and put him in a goddamn trick and it comes up as a nightmare for both of them. And but she thought she was going to trick him and he rushes in and it looked like this end up she got bound up because this didn't go the way she wanted it to go and it like it was drinking there. People was partying there, lying and deception there. And, I don't know, if they had given Vaughn bon something, or Vaughn bon was high, or Vaughn bon was drinking. And they lied to Vaughn bon to get him relaxed, and Vaughn bon started backing away because he saw that they were lying and full of shit when they were luring him into the situation of this woman that he was sexually attracted to. But then it's also two old women, so that's why I was like, what the fuck? I'm trying to understand what the fuck Vaughn trying to tell me because Vaughn was being spied on and lured in and set up because uh, then, but he became the hang hangman. They had Vaughn upside down. This shit is so sick to me that I really just don't want to repeat this. Like I said, I've been holding this for over a week now, not really wanting to repeat this and look at it, but I didn't pick the car. I basically had them laying on my floor. So every day I get up, I have to walk past these cars. I have to look at these cars and it was older women, women with power and authority and money. And then it shows an organization. A man was involved in this. That's a businessman on the top, having business ties and associations that has a lot of power, but also underneath, because the Ten of Pentacles came up for him related to gang activity, underworld activity, doing a lot of dirty shit and having people do dirty shit for him for favors, and they fear him, along with an older woman. I'm here in Scorpio, so I, 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 oh boy, older women that were wealthy and powerful in the music industry and older men were involved in setting him up and it was gang related, underworld, organized crime ties involved in this. And then I'm seeing drugs, activity, and sexual obsession. Somebody was sexual, obsessed with fucking Vaughn in his butt or having Vaughn fuck them in the butt because the lovers came here with this man and a woman. And see, that's what been fucking me up. Because I say, what the fuck going on here? Why? So, though, Vaughn used with a man and a woman or two men right here? Or you want to be with a woman? Or you was fucking a woman and two men? One of them rushed in? One of them rushing your ass and another man? Or the woman you with? was with the man. I mean, this shit has been crossing me the fuck up here. Like, I've been thinking I was wrong. Interpreting the goddamn shit. Till I got some confirmation, man. Till I got some confirmation on this shit. And... Okay. Look like... Ooh, I don't want to say this here. And Dirt got something to do with the shit. And other men in the industry. Because I said this when Dirt... When Vaughn came to me and I did... The part one, part two, and part three. And he told me they was gay and told me to tell these women they was gay and bisexual and kept bothering Vaughn here in Atlanta uh, and other places that come from Atlanta, New York, L.A., D.C. It's a real bad training problem. I tell you, homosexual problem. They got them mansion parties and them young boys as fucking men. I told y'all that, that Vaughn was saying that shit. Also, Nipsey said the same goddamn shit. If you go back and listen to them and that child trafficking and prostitution and boy booted busting and all that kind of shit go on in that industry if you want to get in there and they still may not make, give you a deal if they have you coming to parties and things. Before Vaughn was killed, Vaughn had some type of meat. 
with these men in the industry. Oh, I just got chills all over. The day before, either the day before, a day or two before, Vaughn got killed down here, downtown Atlanta. And Vaughn seems a girl he want to fuck real bad. He was sexually attracted to. And she act like she was just sexually attracted to Vaughn. But Vaughn wasn't naked. Vaughn wasn't fucking. I mean, I, he thought it was a meeting. And it really wasn't a meeting. Dirt didn't tell him that it was a sex party kind of thing. He act like it was just a meeting. And when Vaughn gets there, he's talking to a woman that he want to fuck. He thought was real sexy and attractive. And it was an attraction little light between both of them. They, he wasn't talking about no commitment. And he wanted to holler at her and fuck. And this woman is acting like she's with this thing. Then this man rushes in and they got masks on. Like an eyes wide shit party. And it would make sense, because I just thought about that. This bitch right here got a fucking mask on. Bound and obligated to them to do the shit. They got masks on, but she didn't have a physical mask on, but the other ones and the nickels had the masks on. Everybody else in there had the masks on. Not masks, masks. They're in there doing fucking elite folks in this thing to lure this boy in there. And then tell this boy that that what will finna go on. So he wants to fuck the girl and holler at the girl. Niggas rush in real quick with the mask on. Two niggas. I'm saying two niggas here. And let offering him the world. And they gonna come up. Lord, I know this shit sound crazy. Yes. Truth to means mascuses. Let him know. You not just finna fuck her. Tell the girl like a demon by the head. Who a print on the outside look like the devil by the goddamn head. I done met people like that. They look real attractive. And as you talking to them and looking at them like you seen them turn to a demon by the head. Well, you don't want to sleep with that because that person curse. They're going to curse you. Yeah, yeah mascuses. That's right. Thank you. Mascuses. That's how you spell it. God damn it. Because there was several of them with them on. Told them they he cannot see them. God damn it. You is going to either fuck me in the ass or you're going to let me fuck you in your ass when I have this mask is on. And are you going to suck my dick? Are you going to let me? Man. You're going to let me suck your dick or you're going to suck my dick? Suck my dick. Suck, suck my dick. Man, tell me he was going to pull on that man pipe. Now, <laughs> this is when it gets ugly in this bitch. Kosar Rama. You see this here come up. Vaughn talking about killing a motherfucker and pulling guns. They didn't know Vaughn had that iron on it. Talking about killing because I don't go for that gay shit. Then they said, well, you know what, Vaughn? You ain't got to do all that because, you know, we don't have that in here. You can put the, the, the gun away. You know, they didn't know Vaughn had the goddamn uh, gun. And there was a commotion up there and argument and shit, but yet up in an uh, exclusive play and told him that he had to come up. But you see this right here. Set that man up, had been spying on that man, had a military operation where they in both camps lured the motherfucker up there and dirt was in the shit. Black magic was also in that shit. Because I get the moon caught up here and they passing messages back and forth. And you know what they did? He got to go. 
this nigga got to go set him up and overkill the nigga outside. Shoot this motherfucker, man, because he and his women's in this, they sent the message out. He don't want to go with the goddamn program, man. Drug activity, sexual activity, her sex ring and a drug ring. Sexual obsession, black magic ring in this bitch. Somebody sexual obsessed with him and they decided the devil here with this drug. You got to go. You got to go. I have been sitting on this. A towel. Boom. An explosion. And that's what be gunfire too. Jump and ambush that man. And set that man up and kill that man. A day or so after the goddamn meeting because Vaughn wouldn't do no gay shit. Man, I told y'all, Noreen, when it happened a few days after it happened, they wanted that boy to do some gay shit and let that man know he wasn't going to go no higher. They said, oh, he already saw and knew too much. I don't know why they want to kill him. He didn't threaten it. He just he pulled it. He said, I'm not with that shit. The nigga like Gucci, I keep that iron on me. Pulled that iron. They didn't know he had that gun. I was like, what? That's why this was like, he said, mm, you just don't know what I know, what I have seen. Vaughn is not as upset right now because like I say, he has comfort. He really needs to be healed and comforted because they shot this man. Demonic oaths they took and said that these other older niggas that's gatekeepers in the record industry that deal with rappers. Ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. Hustle man's a shooter. That's a fact, nigga. Million dollar policy on my flesh, nigga. I own all the rights to my masters, niggas. Because I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. They didn't like him either. Because the one who managed... Nipsey wanted Nipsey to do some gay shit and hated Nipsey because Nipsey was real strong and real smart. And when Nipsey started figuring that shit out, Nipsey wasn't going to do no gay shit just like Vaughn. The old niggas that you see, the old gatekeeper over rapping music, they bring these young niggas in. Whenever you see these rap niggas get hot, Excuse me, high up, making millions and making a lot of money, going to the next level. That because they went to the I Y shit party. Then they take that shit. They got witnesses on that shit. They got the high level Illuminati witches in now to do the rituals before you get in there. During the fact you in there after you put them spells on you, put them curses on you, had on people on that drug. Said it was a tranny. It looked like a woman. But but Vaughn could tell it was a man. And then it said it. The transgender said I still got a dick. And you're going to let me fuck your I'm going to fuck. And then pull that iron. <clears throat> Nigga talking about some pow pow. I ain't finna have it. I mean you might have. You ain't doing that with me. I don't get that. Fuck no fuck. Yeah. And they're like wait a minute. Now you ain't got to do all that over here. Now we not finna have that. I said what? What the fuck? Oh, I'm, I mean, they in here. I feel the shit. I do not hear Vaughn coming telling me that it's a lie. He did show up a minute ago. I seemed like the lion roar. A part of him is angry about that. He need a lot of healing. And Nipsey saying the same thing. That the oh, there's something go through my heart right now. The one is over. Nipsey that was managing Nipsey hate Nipsey. I ain't got to tell y'all who it is because y'all already know who it got them is. I'm telling you, all them gatekeepers, them older ones that's over these people, that's been over the past 20 years. And Andre, what is Harrell and all that, that had, who is it, Proto J, Puffin, all them. Them niggas did the gay shit to get that high up like that, and they bring them young boys in. And all these young rappers that you see that's real popular and getting a lot of play, they had to go to them parties. Hmm? 
And I'm not going to tell you where the party was. I know where the meeting was. I'm not going to get into all that. But I know that the shit went on. With King Von. And they, yeah, all them older ones got shit on them boys. Them young men and make them young men do gay shit. And if they don't do that gay shit for them to get the pictures and get the footage and that what they tell them to be. They go down, you see fucked up shit happen to them, they get on drugs or drinking or they get killed. Did y'all don't remember, you can look it up on YouTube, how Pimp C came to Atlanta and Pimp C said, all oh, y'all looking at these rappers and all these motherfucking rappers and boss fuck boys. And they gay down there in Atlanta sucking dicks down there. Them rappers you think is hard as fucking boy. Then Pimp C come up dead in the hotel room and talking about Pimp T. Pimp C overdosed on that lean. That Pimp C love that lean. Now I know that's not what happened. Right after Pimp C told that them boys down here in Atlanta and all them rappers fucks boys, Pimp C was found dead and they gonna say they found that man in there had drunk too much lean. Y'all can look it up. Now you know that it's not a coincidence. Look at the timing of it. What was, I don't even know if it was just a few days or a week after Pimp C told that all of a sudden he slumped up. And, and somebody said, I don't, I don't know if it's true, so I don't really, you know, allegedly said it didn't look like Pimp C was just laying there like he was asleep or something from an overdose. So there was blood in the room. Mm. So if you were in there by yourself, I... Mm. Lord have mercy. I don't know if I want to touch that with Pimp C because I don't know what I'm going to find. If I do a reading on Pimp C, Lord Jesus. And then, you know, people... I will briefly say this. I wasn't going to say anything about it, but I'm going to briefly say this. Okay. They're putting it under my YouTube as people are sending me emails about some lady, they say, a high-level witch that's over the music industry that live in Atlanta that attacked another lady, another uh, spiritual advisor, was it Mothri's advisor, and they're asking me, do I know the lady, what the lady they have I ran to? I don't know the lady. I said, who's the name? They couldn't give me a name. I don't know. So y'all stop asking me, sending me messages. I am from Atlanta. I am born and raised, born and bred in Atlanta, Georgia. But I don't know who y'all are talking about. I don't know the Illuminati witch. I didn't even know there was an Illuminati witch that lives in Atlanta. I didn't know she runs the music industry from Atlanta. And she runs artists. I, I, I can't speak on something I don't know. I If I've met this woman, I don't know I met the lady. I, I can't think in my mind the name of who that would be. You should ask the person who told you that they ran into this powerful witch. Only they would know or who else around them or other people in Atlanta would know. I don't hang with people down here and that's why I don't because they're so dirty and treacherous and it's a heavy a lot of people have moved here that are heavily into the occult and black magic and do a lot of dirty shit and I've experienced them but whoever the witch is if I've met her I don't know that I've met her so y'all the best thing like I told people don't ask me you need to ask the person who told you they met the witch they saw the witch they know the witch's name. If the person don't want to tell you the name, I don't know why they don't want to tell you the name. But I'm telling you, I don't have to lie. I don't know who the other seer is talking about. You said they say her name is with blonde hair, short hair. I don't know. I never met anybody. I mean, of course I've met people with short blonde hair. But I, I don't, I really don't know you guys. Y'all have to talk to whoever told you that. Okay. 
Now, this broke my heart. And what else I'm seeing here? It's, it's so much other stuff in it that I could read. I don't want to get into all of it. This shit is creepy to me. And it scares me because I, I knew and said that the manager, one of these men I'm seeing in here to help set this man up and steal his money and go into his territory and talk on the other side, talk with the enemies and talk with other rival gang members as well as gang members in his group that I had said earlier, the manager had something to do with doing that to that man. The manager's down with that shit. Luring them young men in there, them young boys. Get them to sell their soul through their booty hole. Now, if you gay and you like men, that's one thing. So I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about where you are forcing someone to get their own God-given gifts that they were given. Whatever that is, beauty. Rapping, singing, drawing, cooking, designing, whatever your gift is. You are not allowed to use your God-given gift or express it in a form to make money unless you sell your soul or sell your booty hole. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if you're gay and you want to do that on your own, I have nothing to say about nobody that's grown and choose to be with the same sex. That's not what I'm, I'm not condemning that. I'm talking about this right here. Where you are forcing someone, you're doing demonic spells on them. Yeah, you're raping them. You're forcing them to do something they don't want to do and then you're killing them. Setting them up, getting insurance policies, getting money, getting deals off of it, stealing their publishing, all their things. And then breaking up their assets and they act like they don't exist. And you keeping down the... Uh, any talk about it, any publicity, any justice for them, any legal action to get justice for what was done. That's what I'm speaking about. I'm not homophobic. I'm not speaking against gay people. That's, that's not what this is about. Ignorant people will try to say that's what this is about, and that's not what this is about. This man was violated and ambushed. That tells you, look at who was there, who participated in it. Because that tells you now that I'm seeing and what I'm telling you that I've been seeing that I've been trying not to fucking say. Whoever was out there downtown that night and watching that shit, they with that shit he with. They with that shit. You got to be with the shit because I'm telling you. This was an organized hit on that boy. This was a overkill assassination, a slaughtering of that boy. The young man. This was not an accident. And they that man said they had some drinking on him or they put a pill or something on that man, had that man mind messed up. You see how his eyes was looking, how he get and then they said something to trigger him and he also is mentioned he's been with T Roy the past couple of days. Nipsey been with him, he was hanging with T Roy but I got to, oh, my head just got, I felt something cracking by my door. Something just cracked when I said that shit. Something wrong with T-Roy. I don't know if y'all, I ain't never seen him. I don't know what T-Roy look like. I don't know if he got a mama or sister or brother, anybody around. If y'all can find any pictures of T-Roy or his mama or family or brother or sister, anybody close around him so I can see a picture on him because he was seeing T-Roy, but they over there arguing T-Roy is not arguing with Vaughn. T-Roy is arguing with someone else and there's a female over there. There's a group of people that is also over there arguing up that girl. The girl. The shooter. What that girl name? The one they said Vaughn might have killed. The girl, what the, damn. What that light-skinned girl name with the short hair was twisted or did she twist it sometime or braid it sometime? She's right here. She kind of got a gap, looked like a gap in her teeth. In the front teeth, a little thin gap. It looked like to me a kind of beaver rabbit teeth is in the front. It was about her brother. I think they killed her brother, but it's a dog around them. Somebody had a dog around them. 
that was physically killed. I see the dog. It reminds me of a German Shepherd, the girl, her brother. There's also a military person over there. There was somebody that was killed or that's connected to her that had, oh, my head is hurting me so bad right now. My eyes are hurting me. That is military. Is that her name, Lil Snoop? She was a shooter, an assassin, and she would pretend like she liked the boys or liked the ones in Vaughn's camp and said that her and Vaughn were flirting back and forth and Vaughn acted like he liked her he was going to kill her. She was a young girl, was a teenager, but she was a shooter and she would brag about being a shooter. She is there near t -Roy. I don't know what this is at somebody's house and I'm seeing uh, a wooden table like in the living room, a dining room. And they are arguing, fighting right now up there. Where they from? And it is war and a lot of conflict up there. Something to jump off. And it's also associated with Vaughn down here. Somebody, something still has not been revolved, resolved with T. Roy. Whoever, I don't know who killed T. Roy. Did they find out who killed T. Roy? Because for some reason, T. Roy believes, and somebody else is over there saying. That is also somebody that know uh, that's associated with Von Nem Group, as well as someone that shot shot T Roy. It was a conflict, or uh, gang beef, or confusion, or something where T Roy was set up. I know this sounds crazy. Yes, but Von sees her. She is arguing. She's standing right here. That's why I see her face. And she smiles like I can see her teeth. With a half twist. And it's not real long on both sides. But it's kind of sticking up right here. I don't know if them plaits she got on her head. Or twists is in her head. And there's other people over there with her. And it's a lot of turmoil. But a part of her is kind of okay. Because she with a brother. Was that a brother? That she was missing and killed her brother. Was that what she doing that for? But I also see a um, grandmother, a mother. So I wonder, is it her grandmother? That's over there physically. She a grandmother, either a mother's mother or father's mother. They are arguing like hell down there. They're in the other world. They are fighting over there. It's still the conflict. She got some plat. I see them. She's looking at me smiling right now with a plat. She think it's funny. What she did. Because of what they did to her brother. She's not even completely sad. Because she can see him. But at the same time. Her and T-Roy. T-Roy arguing. Vaughn trying to listen to T-Roy. To see what T-Roy is trying to tell him. That's going on. And then here come FBG duck ass. He is targeting and still mad at Vaughn. He said, Vaughn, I tried to tear your motherfucking ass. But you didn't want to listen. You want to turn on me for the ops. And I told you them motherfuckers were going to set you up. In, not just, he said, in that deal that you dealing with. He said, and I told you that nigga was a booty busser. Said, the nigga that fucked me. He said, I told you the nigga was gay, man. Said, so he know a Try to say this the way he's saying, saying, FBG Duck said that, I mean, allegedly, you know, I'm just hearing this in the underworld, that Dirt set some niggas up to be raped. When he don't get his way, or they don't want to do what he want them to do, or don't want to go along with a deal, or uh, want to get out of a deal, or don't want to fuck with him, they, he said this 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 young man is the devil. And a lot of these men are scared to tell on him because he secretly has power, and he will pay people and get men men to do dirty things like this, rape men. Set them up. Who wants to tell that? That that happened to them and kill them if they tell and point him out. As well as his affiliation with law enforcement. I, 
Oh, this shit got my both of my eyes hurting. My whole fucking head. The top of my goddamn head and my eyeballs. Both of them is fucking hurt right now. This is what FBG Duck, he said, I tried to tell you, Vaughn. But I won't say nothing. And the girl of some just walked up on me. The girl is smiling. No, it's not what the world's coming to, Daphne. This has been going on. This is Rome. This is Rome. This is parts of Egypt at certain periods when they were having uh, the house of Set, S-E-T, Satan, boy lovers, as well as Rome. This is not new. Yes, thank you. Booty goons. Did it sound like booty goons that Ray J threatened fabulous about? Uh... FBG Duck said that that's what Dirk is. A booty bandit. Say so he set people up to be raped. If they don't do he won't do it, don't go along with it. But so he act like he didn't know about that shit with Vaughn. And let Vaughn walk into that shit. And I don't know why, because he knew Vaughn was not going to, man. And then act like he didn't know. I... I Said she lost it once. Tuka was murdered. Oh, Tuka is her brother. Because I also see a shooter here that was military trained. A sniper that's down there. Okay, so that's not her brother. There, That's someone else I see. I don't know how tall her brother is. But this is a tall, young man. Black man. That I see have military gear. Uh, fatigues. It looks like army. So I'm wondering, is there someone that was associated with the gang member that's public that we could find out? If, if any of you here find out, let me know if any of these gang members that were killed military have relatives that are military. Because the man is standing here, and I can see he's showing me the fatigue standing by the girl. So that would be you saying Tuka's sister. That's a sniper. That tells me some of these. The shooters that are gang members that are shooting very well have been secretly trained by military. They know how to hit their target or have been getting training before they shot Vaughn and before they shot some of these other people. Because someone sent me an email, and I had heard in the video if this is true, Vaughn's father, Silk, was shot by snipers on a roof. So there's a group... That our gang members that shot him were known to be good at, at having sniper rifles shooting people high up. And that Vaughn's father was assassinated. He was shot with sniper rifles. Snipers that that's a group that were known to, to kill people with the sniper rifles. So that somebody had to train them. This is making me so uncomfortable. See how much time I have anyway. I don't really want to talk much about Okay, it's three anyway. So, since it's three, I'm going to go. I'm going to come back because I didn't. Yes, and it also shows me the group of people were fighting. They're still fighting right now about Vaughn, his assets, and the money. And uh, this one man, what they did is he feels like he's won, dominated, and bullied him, basically showed up with a group and overpowered Vaughn. And this was all an ambush attack that was set up by both sides. There were two, we know that now, we saw that there was two gang, two, two rival gangs there. But what I'm telling you is the rival gangs were there because the manager and the other ones told them to come and do that shit. Told them to come do that shit to that boy. That was not an accident. He just happened to be there. It wasn't. Yeah, I can't check the phone right now because I'm doing a live. Um, and one of these young men. It's making me sick to my stomach. He had the group there and he started the fight. He had them start that fight. And act like he didn't know nothing about that. Because Vaughn had went somewhere. It showed that Vaughn went to this place where the fight, fight jumped off. He traveled to this place for this meeting. And it shows his baby. So I'm wondering, is it just Vaughn? 
they have a little baby, does Dirk or anybody else or involved in this have any young children or have any little boy, any young boy? So who would it be that he associated with? Uh, Dirk, NBA young boy. Uh, who else was he close to that have possibly have young children or young boy, young baby boys? You don't know because unless it's talking about Dirk has a baby girlfriend pregnant. Oh, really? This is so fucked up. This is so sad here. Uh, and somebody's very happy that that man died like that and was benefiting from it. And there's another woman, too, that's coming up as a queen of pentacles that makes a lot of money off of this man's death. There were women at that meeting. Powerful, high, powerful women at that meeting. Um, thank you, Cindy. Sydney Cobb. For mentioning uh, his sister. The sister needs to be careful. Because she's not as safe as she thinks with these people. They want to buy her off. Buy her silence. Buy her loyalty. Get her to be quiet. She thinks she's safe with these people, and Dirk, Dirk don't give a fuck about her. He don't give a fuck about her brother. He set her goddamn brother up, allegedly. He just wants some money and to, like he said, with Pooh Shice, to get it in blood. Get it back in blood. It's all a game to him. He works for the elite to do his job and to bring in souls and to offer the souls for his wealth and to come up and to stay up there to lure them in. And then they're going to go into the prison industrial complex. If they don't die and are sacrificed spiritually and having their organs ritually and systematically removed and consumed, eaten, and worn around in chains and jewelry, they'll be sacrificed to the system, prison industrial complex and chipped experimented on they're going to be a part of the reset and a part of the reset is rounding them up now setting them up now making them set themselves up now Putting them in that world and then making them do things that they don't want to do. Holding it over them and then still jamming them and locking their ass up. I have them kill themselves or kill each other. It's just a cycle here. I told y'all about this when I the Super Bowl came here in February of 2019. This was getting ready to happen when I did the second part of Wendy Williams Atlanta Atlantis Stargate Super Bowl. I was going to move from Atlanta, New York, and L.A., and back from L.A. to New York to Atlanta. So I talked about Wendy Williams, and I said she had to pay that thing back. That spirit that came in here, she had to pay it back. He said, you're going to pay Argus with all them eyes on his head, with that TV forehead, and you see what happened, get it in blood, her mama. And they saying the family saying that she wouldn't even come to her mama funeral. Let's watch how she does and how she flourishes. Now they done took the mother. The mother was a very powerful witch. Eastern Star, female Mason, mom high ranking. Took the mother. And you see, they don't really talk about what happened, how it happened, the funeral. Very hush hush the way they dealt with that right there. You know, uh, I'm going to uh, come back because I got to get back into uh, what he wants to say, you know, about his his spiritual advisor, what uh, King Vaughn want to say. Yes, it's a lot that need to be done behind this. This man was, he was done so wrong, just like Nipsey. 
Yeah, yeah, Charlie, and that's what's happening. A lot of them are getting infected. They ain't no good to no woman. They don't want to be with no woman. A lot of them lost and turned out want to be with men or want to be women. They goddamn self. Confused. And taking hormones and having hormone imbalances by the diet and the water. They're struggling with their sexuality. Oh, have mercy. Y'all better prepare, and women better prepare to be alone or find you someone in another race. Unless you can just happen to find you a good black man since that's what a lot of y'all holding out for and that's what y'all want to have. Because these men are hybrid niggas, hybrid bitch niggas. And a lot of them are already gone. They're empty inside. They are not even real men. Not genetically real. They are hybrids. They are shells. A lot of these people don't even have the same DNA you think they have because they're part of your so-called race or ethnic group. They just look like they are. These people have no souls. Dead nation within a nation. When fuck now one of these motherfuckers down here to save my goddamn life. Knowing that if I fuck them, I wouldn't save it, I'd lose it. <sighs> Just want to, y'all need to shift this energy in my eyes, is hurting. My eye sockets is hurting. You know what? It's not about the race, Nikki. It's about the man having integrity and how he treats you and feel about you. And you can't always judge that on race. The little girl is still here. Tuka, is that Tuka sister related to Tuka? She's still here. Oh, and she's a talker, too. You want to stay. You can stay. Ugh. I don't know how that little girl was killed. Was she shot? Because I can't breathe. My throat, I can't. Ugh. Chest and throat. Was she shot? Can somebody look it up? Was it anywhere up in the middle body or chest or throat or chest and... What? Didn't I say up in the air? God damn it. That di yes. It was in here. I was still... It felt blood up in here, the neck and chest up in here. That what she just said when I look at her. <clears throat> she was shot in the face and chest. A two is the, and she said right. <clears throat> yes, sir. She said, she said, I like you. I want to stay at your house. And she mentioned something about her mama. So I don't know what a relationship is with her mama, what she feel like. She, she says she wants some SpaghettiOs. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> I like her already. I won't have to do much. <laughs> I'll give you that if you want that, but you know that I would not just give you no goddamn SpaghettiOs, girl. How you gonna be healthy and safe from some SpaghettiOs? You want the... She didn't even say you, you want the meatball kind. You just want, she just wants some spaghettios. That's what she said. Would anybody know what they, what she would eat or did you, did, uh. <coughs> did they catch who shot her? Was it more than one person that shot her? Uh. She was a teenager. She's a baby. She said, I. 
I don't want to vomit. Did they find who shot her? Was it one person that shot her? Or was it more than one person that shot her? Because I heard somebody say, got you, bitch. But it was also a girl present. Oh, my, did you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Can y'all tell me, do you know who shot her? Was it just one male? I thought she kept saying 17. Was it one male that shot her? Or was it more than one male? And it was, a, whoa, it was a couple people around. Did they catch her or lure her somewhere? Because she, it wasn't just one person around. You like that? You like that? That's Nipsey. That's his age. You got it? Do you know what is his age? Isn't it beautiful? I gotta look her up and see was did they find her shooter? Was she alone? Did did, did they catch who did it? Was she out around people? Cause she said something about school. I wonder was it somebody else associated with her school or knew what school she went to that pretend to be her friend. Is anybody in here can they tell me? I guess I'll have to look at it when I get off the show then. Okay. You can stay. I haven't seen Sarah lately. I know she wanted to go go um Oh, thank you. You got the pictures of Sage. I know she wanted to go to uh, Tennessee and see her baby. She missed her baby and see her father. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to see it. She dropped out of school. I wonder. She said there's still somebody that knew her from school, too. There was in one of the gangs. That knew they were going to kill her. I don't think she was by herself. Somebody knew they were going to kill her. And know where she was. That's what she said. I told her she can stay. I want to hear what she has to say. Because she's saying it's trouble now. It's war. Oh boy. I didn't know I was going to see that. And I, I definitely want to talk to T-Roy. You know what? I did not expect, you know, I was trying to wrap this up. I didn't know it would lead to this. They want to talk. Some of them are over there. And now they're over there and they see what it's like. They don't like it. Because they're told you just die and you'll go anywhere and it's over. And they see that it's not over. It never ends. And they want. Oh, you're just a baby. She's just like a little girl with me. She's just acting like a baby. You, you, you've been to see your mom. Grandma. I wonder where's her mother and her grandmother. Are they still physically living? She's mentioned them. She mentions a little one. I wonder if she ever know the brothers and sisters or someone. Mm, boy. You know, I probably won't know because I don't know anybody know her. We can find out any information about her. She's just walking around over there. there. A lot of them are not resting. It's a lot of them over there for where she's from. Uh, who call them the crossfire. There are some little ones who call them the crossfire. They were innocent children. And there are some people that were in gang activity that were killed. But there are women over there and children. It's not just men that were gangbangers. It's female gangbangers. And some of their children are caught there. And police. Where they died and they talked to them and associated with them now and detectives. And they are telling things as well on how they helped to set some of them up for, for failure, for jail and for failure. They, they said war. Uh, maybe I'm getting the wrong thing. Allegedly, that's what she's saying. She wants to hang out here. She says, I like you. She says, can I, I stay? Oh, thank you. You like my outfit? 
thank you. Now, I don't have rabbit olives because I don't eat them, and I don't give them to the people that have the shrine. They don't ask for raviolis. I think they jump on me if I try to give them raviolis. But I'm going to see can I get you some raviolis since that's all you want, some raviolis. <laughs> she said something about popcorn in a movie. Now, okay, I don't know. You got to tell me the movie? Hmm. I guess that makes sense. She said she would practice being good at what she did. Just all, she knew she would die early and she didn't care. You know what? This is another, a whole nother show. I don't know how far I'm going to go with this, if I go anywhere with it at all. Because I have to stick with uh, King Bond, his spiritual reader, slash goddess, slash witch, slash friend, slash lover, slash spiritual wife, slash confidant. <laughs> oh, Gwen, don't say that. Oh, my God. Lobster ravioli with vodka sauce. Girl, she did not ask for that. That baby don't really know about that. She asked me just, just the sweetest thing, simplest thing. She just wants some ravioli. She she showed me a kind. I didn't even see any meatballs in it. She just asked me for a little can of them. And she said she wanted some popcorn. And she wanted to see a movie. I just just a sweet baby inside. She, she, that's what she asked me. And she said, could she hang out with me for a little while? Yes, you can. I, I, I will see what I can do for you. She smiled. I'm, I'm going to go, boy, this has been a rough one. Yeah, she just wanted, like, the Chef Bar-RD, Charlie, just something real simple. Just, uh, d d she didn't even ask me for a real big can, like a family size can. She just wanted a small can. She reminds me of Sarah, even though Sarah's older than her. Sarah's a few years older than her. She was in her 20s when she physically died last year. She just asked me for something similar, like fun stuff, like like stuff teenagers junk food teenagers like anyway I'm gonna go because this is making me feel really bad just really down but I, I'm so sad and bad because I can't do anything about it right now so I'll have to talk to his uh, spiritual advisor and see what he's saying to her because I know she has the deeper portal and speaking of that I'm going to go ahead and start writing it because King Vaughn and King Nipsey Hussle I didn't know they were doing this yeah I'm not sick like that I'm just saying the energy here is making me feel and it's heavy and made my eyes hurt and my body feel really off and tense. I feel like so uncomfortable, just so bad because that happened to that man and I can't do anything. I don't know what to do about it to help them to bring them back, you know, and bring them their body back and give them their life back. That's what makes me feel bad. Uh, King Yvonne and King Nancy Hustle have been having sexual conversations about how to please women and knowing a woman's body on the spiritual a metaphysical side. Yes, it is very draining because it is very sad to me. It makes me feel down. And he, I didn't know this was going on. Remember, they just let me hear them the other day. They, he was talking about, uh, was it Gala? I'll make sure I get her. Dala, Dala, Dala's body. And he said her body is like heaven to him. And he was showing me the G-spots in the body that I didn't know existed. The G-spots is not just in one spot. A woman can have more than one G-spot, but every woman doesn't have the G-spots in the same part of her body. Some women are more sensitive and get more aroused than others. And some women, um, oh gosh might get wetter than others or have a higher sex drive than others so he was telling me about the well I 
heard them talking. He wasn't telling me. They, Vaughn and Nipsey were talking about them, talking about the parts of her body. Oh God, I, I'm not going to get into all of it. I, I'm, I'm, I have to ask her. I wouldn't. <laughs> I have to ask her. What well, could I share? Because I said I'm going to share the rest of it with her. And I said, whoa, we have that? Like, I didn't know it's a way a man can activate your body. Spiritually to open you up and uh, help you heal. They're freaky. <laughs> I'm learning so much. And then the other people that, that, that their bodies physically died, they rush in when she starts talking. And Vaughn is like so anxious and so excited to hear when, yes, yes, they're getting a freak on. And he's over at their lady house. And he's like, her body's heaven to him. And it's, he's, he's talking and he's like, Nipsey, he's like, bro, look, I did what you said. And he's looking up, talking to Nipsey, and Nipsey's looking down like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, you did. And he said, but it didn't work because she act like she, he said, no, you didn't do what I told you to do. Because what I told you to do was you supposed to do the other thing. And I'm just like, I'm walking off. That's what I'm trying to tell you the other night. First I started walking off, and then when I heard the other, like, feet, I heard noise coming in here like the other, um, he's a star proof of people. He's like, bro, I did what you said. You told me to touch her like this, and you was showing me. And he started showing this lady's body and uh, her G-spots. And I was like, you know what, wait a minute. Let me turn a goddamn round because I think I do want to hear this. First, I said I didn't want to hear it. And when I heard them, I was like, I did what you said. You said I go on her vagina, and you was showing me the walls. And I could literally see the anatomy when he's saying this and i'm like i said you know what i'm not listening to youtube fuck youtube because y'all have no business doing this stuff and then he was like yeah and he was looking up to nips because there's so much taller than him he's like yeah and i did what you said he's like yeah he said i went over there and then i was touching her body and uh he's like but it didn't i did what you said and he was like no you didn't you didn't do what I said, because no, what I said was, when she go to sleep, and I was like, up there catching people in their sleep. So I said, well, you know what, and I, st I stopped, I said, let me turn back around, because then when I turned around, I saw all these people, a group of people, Um, it was mostly men, and they were like, wait a minute, a second one? First, you, Nipsey, and then a second one could come through? You got to open the portal. I want to come through, too. I, we want to come through this portal. We want to do what y'all is doing. And so I said, yeah, what y'all is doing. So he's te he was teaching Vaughn, King Vaughn, and I was like, I can't believe that you did this. And he was just like, I said, you did this. That's why that boy is like that. You did this. I said, well, he was freaking anyway, listening to his music, like the fuck. But what you said, he was how I said it <laughs> Like the fuck anyway, and rapping about that shit. But... This is not just physical sex. You're taking it to a whole nother level. And he's saying, no, you're supposed to touch her like this and you supposed to touch her like that. And then he says, no, you're supposed to go in her back and that is a uh, way you touch her spine. And I said, wait, let me turn around. What? And then the other people was like, the man was like, he said, no, did you do that? And then Vaughn was like, Oh, he said, wait till she get relaxed and lay down. No, Nikki, I'm going to tell you how to bring them over here. Because they don't want to be over there. They want to be over here. So, I come back, because they're in the hallway, and then it's a group of them that come around. And I'm standing there, and I'm listening, and I said, "This, you did this to Vaughn. You did but Vaughn is like, he's like, no, no, no. Okay, so what I do now? Okay, tell me again. And then he was like, well, Vaughn, I'll just go over there with you. I said, no, you did not. So he is going to coach Vaughn. I have to write it. 
And he's like, well, what am I going to do, man? What am I going to do, bro? I, I, you told me to do it. It's not working. She's still playing hard to get. She don't, she don't want to touch me. She, I like, she don't want to fuck me. Like, she don't trust me. She don't believe me. And, and then Nipsey goes, well, the three of us, and I'm, as I'm walking off, he's like, the three of us, uh, Alexis is going to tell her. I said, the three of us? Oh, I'm in the shit? Like, why do y'all always, always get me to pass nasty messages to people? Like, why do I have to tell that lady, yeah, that, that your sexual, that he's, he's fantasizing about this lady? I don't, that's not say she's getting molested. No, Nipsey's not touching her. Nipsey is Vaughn's coach. He's his sex coach. He's his sex coach. So he's like, no, you got you didn't do what I said. What I said was you got to touch her like that. So no, Nipsey's not touching her. He's coaching Vaughn. He's like, look, you got to go through. I said, I don't believe, I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. You're doing this. And then you're putting me in it. He's like, yeah, she's going to do the video. He's like, he's like, please help me tell her how I feel. And I said, I don't, I, I, she's not going to like it. She's probably getting mad at me. He's like, no, because she thinks that I'm playing and she thinks that I'm not for real. And if you say it. In front of everybody, and I know I said things about women that were bigger and full size. And I don't like fat women, whatever. She said, but she thinks that I'm going to cheat on her. She thinks that I'm going to hurt her and use her. And so I want you to say it in front of everybody. So she will know that I'm serious. I'm not going to mistreat her and do her wrong. I'm like, oh, but I got to do it. Okay. Well, I'll do it. I just heard like somebody walked my fucking stair. I just heard like somebody stepped. Oh, shit. This shit is so creepy. So what I'm going to do, because I saw what they were doing, and I didn't know they were doing it. I just knew I didn't I, I, I didn't feel them for a few days. I'm like, where are they? What, what are they doing? And now I see Vaughn has been in class. And the other people, the other souls outside of the physical bodies are jealous. And they want to be in it. They're like, you got to. That's why he said, tell her to open up the portal. I said, I will tell her to open up her portal for you. You see what I'm saying? I My mind was blown. He's more deeper now. This is more deeper now because he can see both sides. He's giving me the science of it and going into the anatomy and physiology. But, but you go past the anatomy and physiology, which is the energy grids. So, I do that. I talk about that anyway. And I see and deal with the etheric anatomy anyway. So, it's pretty easy to see because I can see it. And I can hear them. So, I said, this is... I better go ahead and speed this up. Because I see the young one. I see Vaughn. Still wants to feel in love. And he's saying... Sexual healing. Spiritual sexuality will help me heal, will help me restore my body. My mind, uh, this is grabbing me. My mind, my body, my spirit. This is something I did not know. This is like a whole new world, a beautiful world that all of us can have access to, but we're not taught about, we don't know. Boy. Yeah, Trish said so he was turning their ass out. But you know what? He's not doing that with everybody. He's trying to to make up for things he did wrong. He's trying to help people. He's trying to, you know, redeem himself. He doesn't want to hurt and abuse people no more. He don't want to hurt and abuse women no more. Good boy. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go. I just want to introduce that to you all. I might share a little bit. And then people keep asking me for classes. So I think I'm going to open up the classes and probably in the next month or so. That way I don't have to worry about um, mailing things for you to get. We can do the classes online. We can do the video. Uh, people, Some of people want to deal with the mother-daughter drama, the healing. Uh, a lot of people want to deal with the sexual thing. I think that we should probably start with the intro of the spiritual sexuality. 
I can't teach everything that Nish is giving me right now because I need a board. I need to first, of course, write that stuff out. And then I, I'm going to teach it, but I need to write it first. And then I would have to, the way he's teaching it to me, uh, it's very long. So I have to write it out. It's going to have to give it to you in pieces. But I didn't know he was teaching it to someone. And it makes sense because Vaughn's a Leo. And they're so much alike. And they were in the same arena and the same thing happened to them. So I see they're going the same route. They want... Uh, they're telling me the spiritual sexual energy. The wrong energy unravels and destroys someone. And the right spiritual sexual energy reanimates and puts them back together. So I said they're moving from a place... Of they're, they're in pain, but they're not moving from a place of hatred. They're moving from a place of looking for restoration through love. As well as education and knowledge. And so, I'm, I was I'm glad I turned around and said, you know what, I'm through with you two. I'm going to walk away, and I'm going to go get dressed. And then I heard him whispering to them, I did what you said, you told me to do. And then I said, what did he say? And I turned around. He's like, no, you didn't do what I said. I told you to touch her this way. and go." I said, what in the world? You been teaching him? Sexual healing? You been teaching him? He, I didn't. Oh, my. And that's when the others jumped in. They said, uh-uh. We want it. We want to come through. Walker. And I listened to what he was saying. And I said, oh, my. I didn't even know that. Our bodies do that. Women's bodies do that. And this was like, yes. And he's, he kept telling me, he said, tell her. He said, tell her to uh, let me in. And it's like that song, uh, what's that song? If you let me come inside, I'll, t I'll keep you satisfied tonight. If you want me, if you need me, if you let me. And he was like, Nipsey, how do how do I do it? Like I was like, oh shit, you are a no y'all ain't no fucking good. You are sitting there telling that man how to go over there and fuck the oh my god. Yeah, this <sighs> And then y'all motherfuckers, when I said that shit, y'all gonna start sitting up there secretly sending me messages to my tail. Y'all how to do that shit. They did hurt him and a uh, fucking bond is over there. When am I going to teach the class to show y'all how to fuck people? And I <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes, come inside. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all, okay? I just got to get enough rest and try to get all these orders done. It's reading stuff so I can sit here because it's blowing my mind. Vaughn is so excited. He loves it. He was like, but I did what you said. He said, he said you know, he let him talk. Vaughn was talking. He said, but hey, hey. I did what you said. I went over there and I touched her. And he said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He was looking down at her. He said, and he let him finish. He said, no, you didn't. You didn't do everything that I told you to do. Because, remember, I told you the way that she get relaxed and lay down and go to sleep. And I told you to take your hand. And I told you to stroke that part of her back. And then I told you to run your finger up there and hit her cheek. And I said, what the fuck? What did you say? I said, oh, my God. You are a bad influence on my, you are the way reason why okay okay i'm gonna tell her and vaughn knows all these new tricks because now vaughn has taken it to a higher level a spiritual level and he's looking for a certain type of partner a spiritual he wants some psychic i told y'all the man they want some sanctified pussy so that when he open up or when he touch in a certain way or touch her uh, chakra points and her energy points and her body and charge it up, open it up. 
See what I'm saying? You said, tell me she feel pregnant. No, not, no, not pregnant. Pregnant. Down here. Pregnant. Down, see? Getting people pregnant in spirit. Charging that lady up. Raising her frequency and opening that lady pussy chakra up. You see what I'm saying? Y'all know your eyes be because when I heard it, I'm walking off and I said, what? And I turned around. I said, that's why that man is coming over here today and the stuff he's saying to me. Because you have been over there teaching. I wondered. I, I had no, I didn't even know what was going on. And the men I told you, they in the class. They don't come up there and they said, wow, another one. You did it. You did it. Tell us. And Vaughn is excited. And he's telling uh, Nipsey. And then the other ones rush up really fast. So, what the fuck? Because so many of them came real quick. You too? You too? So now it's us too? Us? Us? And I said, oh, wow. I just got quiet. I didn't I didn't know that word. I didn't know they were over there like that. I didn't know they could hear. I didn't know they could see. I didn't, I didn't know that they, they want to come over here. I didn't know they go back and forth. I didn't know they long for a body and a woman with a body and how they feel. And they think they said, open it. Open the gate. We want to come. We don't know how to come. We've been stuck up here for years. Some people said they've been up for years. I said, oh, my God, I got to tell everybody. I got to write the book, and I got to tell everybody. I didn't know. What your nasty ass done crept downstairs for? Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell y'all that the shit be bothering me and upset me that they over there plotting over there and doing nasty shit, and y'all sit up here and on the low, listen, and go in the other room and go at work and then email me and tell me make that happen and what's the list or when I can get an alert on it being ready and I Man, I'm gonna go, y'all nasty motherfucking ass. I'm trying to tell y'all that it's I be all I be tired hearing them, I'm stressed out, I need some rest. But instead of y'all being concerned about that. What you waiting on? Won't you go on and write it? I mean, how much is it? Can we pay in advance? What's the special email for the shit? Why you? So, when I saw that, and Vaughn said that about that girl, tell me, yeah, where you sign up, she that, and what the mailing list and all that shit. I don't, okay. When I saw that, though, they touched me. He said, tell the lady that. I didn't know that it was that deep. I didn't know they were talking. I didn't know that they had their special astral class and they look up to him. So now I, I don't even, it's stuff I don't even know about my own body that he was saying. That he said, tell the women, and then he's telling the men, and the men are all anxious and getting excited. And he's like, but you told Vaughn, okay, Vaughn, it's like Vaughn is a spirit. Okay, Vaughn, you try what he said. Go see if it worked on the lady. And he said, I was over there, and I said, what? I said, okay, I'm going to tell her that you are doing this. and Girl, this is amazing to me. I, c I couldn't believe. Oh, wow. It's amazing. I'm going to tell you all. I think I'm going to start. I'm just trying to get my um, orders and stuff done so I can start writing this down, the stuff he was saying to Vaughn. And I said, that's so beautiful, especially if a woman is open to it and you're receiving the person and she's open to him and he's open to her but she was afraid of him and he's afraid of her okay Tetra magical okay well I'm glad you brought that up because for the ones that want to go to that level there is magic spells I don't want to tell y'all that right there see that go with this here I can't put that with everybody thing. I'm not going to put that out with everything. Just like the book of the dead. For fucking 101. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Yes. So you had to fuck someone. That ascended out the physical body. Different rights. Rituals. Lord, I'm trying not to get into this shit, man. 
Because I have been on the other side of this here. And uh, I, 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 I'm trying not to tell my business. I mean, man, to see and experience, I never thought I would see and experience anything like this. How these people, they're still, I'm going to give it to you. I'm not going to give it to you all at one time, but I'm going to give it to you. I think it should be two books. The basic one where people are not ready to understand it. And then the ones like when the other people that are into the esoteric and the magic science to summon. Because there are different spiritual things that you do to open yourself up. And if you have a physical lover, you do the rites with your physical lover. It's not just for a lover that's out of the body. These are lovers that out of the physical body that's in the other body. And these are for the lovers of both of you. That's right. Beginning. <coughs> Beginners. That are two lovers and binding with your man. And it's a whole spiritual kit. <coughs> Nipsey has created with the oil, the candles, the things. With the physical lover. And then for you all that are having the, the spiritual lover. Just like with the... Um, Von Psychic here. There, he created a kit in the lover's oil. There's a higher level of a lover's oil and a whole kit for them to summon and to consecrate. <laughs> yes. Yes. He gave it to me. I just didn't want to get into it with y'all. I didn't think y'all were ready. I, I wasn't going to say nothing. But I didn't know if y'all were wanting that. So the kid will be for, like I say, you and your lover. Both of you alive in the physical body. And you and not. And it has to be a private class. I'm not offering it to everybody. Everybody can't handle that. That's, I'm going to need a break to write that and to share some of those will be private classes I'm going to share some of it with you it's pretty in it's intense but it's beautiful you say you're ready but you need to set your altar up now start to set your ancestor altar up now because you will if you're going to go there That's a good idea, at least. Play those types of music in the house that you know your lover likes. I had a lady, her husband died, physically died, and she would come in for readings. And I told her, uh, he, he's a certain panties he wanted her to wear, certain sheet on the bed, certain flowers. And when I would be, she would send me a video. She said, I did what you said. She said, you see this? It'll be a video where the TV go off and on, or the, it will click on and off, or the light will click on and off. She said, you see that? Her lover, her husband, he, the thought of her fucking someone else drove him crazy. He would still be in there. And she would have the candles and different rituals and the music and the colors. Yeah. This stuff happens. And she sent me the video to prove it. It's a little creepy. But it's beautiful. Especially if you have a husband, a boyfriend, someone that physically died and you love them. They love you. She would still come over there to the house. And the dogs would bark. And they they would. Uh, it was a certain chair her husband had. The dogs, for a certain time, they go, they start barking and look at the husband's chair. And the TV. The, the switch would click on and off. She knew that was her husband because nobody sat in that chair but her husband. And she would do his ancestor altar and his food, his rituals. And then would, you know, touch herself and masturbate and call him. And she felt this man, her whole body, she said, was get hot. All over and she would feel and hear stuff. I didn't want to send it because I didn't know y'all would be open to some shit like that. I thought y'all would think I was crazy. 
I didn't know y'all would want those experiences or, or already having the experiences and are ashamed to express your having the experiences and want to know how to heighten the experience until I heard the physical dead folks in here talking and getting they damn freak on and getting they clad. And my. Y'all, I'm finna go, man. I got to. Oh, wow. Y'all, let me go. It's, it's four. It's basically four. I, I, I gotta lay down because it already hurt my head. I was so upset about what I tell y'all about Vaughn. And this was draining. It hurt him so much because they, they physically lost their life. It's very depressing to them. And they, they want to be here. I didn't let myself get up. I'm so tired. I don't really eat in, but I made their food. I have to get something brought to me because I want something, some some veggies. I don't have any. And then I'll finish cooking their food tomorrow and rest a few hours. And so I'll get started on this. Uh, just even if I start writing little bits at a time. I I'm going to offer a class and you just let me know what you want to talk about. We can't get into the, um, like the esoteric sex right now because, like I said, you have to see it. Like, hearing me say it is one thing. Uh, but the basic, like, uh, class, chakras, auric fields, you need to learn about your chakras, auric field, because that ties into the etheric anatomy of the sex. Whether you're having sex with someone in a physical body or spiritual, the body's still made of energy first, comprised of energy. It's everything. It's life. You can't have it without energy. <sighs> Those are, you need to intro things. Intro mother-daughter healing. Because it also ties into your belief and ability to do magic to manifest your will. Okay? I have a lot to learn. And I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. As I learn, I'll share it with you and recovering from things. And it makes me stronger as I learn. Okay. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm going to lay down and I'm going to try to come back to you soon. Um, the young girl is still hanging here. That was uh, shot. She's smiling. She, For some reason, she feels happy to be with me. So I got to see, can I get her her raviolis <laughs> that she asked for? And uh, I'm going to finish with Vaughn and Nipsey because he still has messages to his reader. Vaughn, King Vaughn has messages to his reader. They're very important. <laughs> uh, so I can't do them if I'm not resting. So And I'm not resting. Right, but I feel better. I thank you for your love, your support, your donations, you watching my videos, sharing them, clicking like on them, and on YouTube. And yeah, it's on Facebook. So you guys, I'm a, uh, I'm thank you for liking my ancestor altar drip shrines. So I'll talk to you soon. I love you all. Let me get some rest. Okay.